we hear this gospel a lot this month. We heard it on the Immaculate Conception, and uh, this Sunday is uh, well, it, this is the gospel for for the morning, not not the evening. The evening is Christmas, so that's a little different. But what struck me as I was praying through this reading again is the generosity of God that He wants us to be part of salvation, part of redemption. Could He have come down and said, your sins are forgiven, everyone is set free? Yes. Could He have just come in human form uh, without uh, being born of Mary? Absolutely. He made humanity at the beginning out of dust. He could have done it again. But he chose to have the cooperation of humanity. Wow! He doesn't just want us to be spectators or to be little kids. He wants us to be full participants in salvation, in redemption. And Mary, this this great gift that she says, you know, we, uh, we read um, in the Office of Readings, uh, I think it was St. Bernard of Clairvaux, he's going on, on this, you know, it's like, the whole world is waiting, Mary, what will you say? And it goes on, you know, the redemption is waiting, you know, we'll, we'll, what will happen if you don't, don't, don't let uh, your, your humility keep you from, from saying yes boldly in this time and all this stuff and, and the end of the reading is behold the hand may the Lord be it done to me according to thy word this beautiful thing is like God allows us to work with him he doesn't need us he created the whole universe without us and a hundred years ago looking around yep, a hundred years ago none of us existed Eighty years ago, some of us existed. <laughs> but a hundred years ago, none of us existed, and the world did pretty good without us. A hundred years from now, none of us will be on this earth still. And the world will still go on, as God allows. I mean, maybe He's going to have the end of the world before that, I don't know. But in our time on this earth, He allows us full participation in His work. And so, like Mary, we have to learn to say, okay, here I am. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to Thy word. May I cooperate with Your grace. How You want me to grow in holiness through the sacraments, through prayer. May I grow, be, be a cooperator with your grace when you're asking me to go out and speak to this person and pray for these people and sacrifice for this intention. Lord, may I not just expect you to do it all because you can, but because you want me to participate, may I do the work you ask of me. I think this is just amazing, and maybe I'm not communicating this well, maybe you're just not getting it, and I, I, I hope you do, but that God allows us to work with Him when He doesn't need us. It's like that image I used a few weeks ago in my homily about the mother who is making a cake. She could do it a lot easier and a lot faster without the help of her three-year-old. And it'll be a lot cleaner, too. <laughs> but with the help of that three-year-old, she, she, she desires to work with that three-year-old in making that cake, even though most likely that three-year-old will stomp around and the cake will fall in the midst of it's being baked and all that stuff, because she delights in teaching her daughter. May we also Recognize, even though God doesn't need to use us and He could do it a lot more smoothly, a lot faster, more efficiently, and a lot cleaner without us. And yet, He wants to. He longs to work with us. May we give our yes to Jesus 
as did Mary.